the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. When the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. A very blessed and happy Easter to everyone. Maligayang Pasko ng muling pagkabuhay sa inyong lahat. And again, please greet the people around you and say, Happy Easter! So, who among us here is still problematic or still in a difficult situation in life? or still carrying lack of burdens within about health problem, about financial crisis, about problems in relationships, sa love life, problems sa mga anak, sa asawa, kahit sa mga kapitbahay, who are still who are still mourning on the death of a loved one or ano-ano pa yung mga burdens na daladala natin sa ating puso ngayon. Well, our prayer for you on this great day that we commemorate the resurrection of our Lord is that you don't get discouraged, you don't lose hope to continue to trust in God's help and love because the God whom we are following is alive. The God whom we are following is the God of hope. I know you're familiar with the song of Don Moen, Yung God Will Make a Way. Are you familiar with that song? Can we sing a few lines from that song? No? Oo. Kakantahin ko. Yeah. <laughs> Bihira lang po akong kumanta, no? Kapag ano... Kapag nagsha-shower lang ako, eh, because this is a great day, you know? okay. Resurrection, Easter Sunday, no? So, but sing with me, okay? Para hindi ako masyadong mahiya. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to His side. With love and strength for each new day, He will make a way. He will make a way. Tapaka natin ang ating Diyos na buhay. Okay. God will make a way. Okay. Whatever, however big the stone or heavy the stone that blocks our way, God will still make a way. My dear friends, that, that, that's the great message of the resurrection of the Lord. They fought, 
that it's over. Dead end na. Jesus died. Darkness prevailed over light. Their hope died. But no, God made a way. Jesus resurrected from the dead. His light conquered the darkness of sin and death and evil. And so we have a God who is victorious, a God who is most powerful than anything in this world. And so we Christians, kaya yung tawag sa atin, we are Easter people. And Alleluia is our song because we have a God who is alive. Now, they say that the worst that can happen to us in this world is to die. But even death, Jesus is victorious. So, may nanalo na. We have the certainty of victory in the end. If only we will unite ourselves, if only we will become faithful to the Lord until the end, then we have that certainty of the resurrection. We just have to win the little battles we have in our everyday life. Yung mga araw-araw nating dinadala sa ating buhay, dapat nating ipapanalo. Pag sumikapan, huwag tayong mabigo, huwag mawalan ng pag-asa, patuloy na maging matapat sa Diyos. Because when we did that, we have the certainty. Jesus has already won the main fight. Huh? And so we have the certainty of the resurrection. We have the hope that is alive in us. I love the imagery of the sunflower. No, yung sunflower, palaging tumitingin sa araw. Hinahabol niya kung nasaan yung sikat ng araw, yung liwanag ng araw. Because it's the light of the sun that gives light to him. Ganun din tayo bilang mga mananampalatayang kristyano. That we should always look for the sun, hindi yung araw, kundi yung anak. Anak ng Diyos. Let us always follow the light of the sun. Follow the light of Jesus because Jesus is the source of our ever hope. No? Siya yung bukal ng ating buhay na pag-asa. So whenever we are going through whatever difficulties, disappointments, frustrations in life, look at Jesus on the cross. Offer to Him everything. Unite with Jesus whatever you are carrying. And then with that, you have the certainty that your life, that in your experiences, the cross will not be the, the ending point, but it will be the resurrection. Because with Jesus, there is no such thing as hopeless case. In Jesus, there is no such thing as dead end or end of the road. Everything is possible with God. So we just have to cling to that victory that the Lord has won for us. We are Easter people and Alleluia is our song. And so if we are bearers of, if we are receivers of that hope, then the challenge to us, my dear friends, is to become bearers of God's hope to others. As we are Easter people, then our life should be Easter proclamation. That our life continue the story of God's resurrection. That our life be a proclamation of hope, a proclamation of faith, a proclamation of God's faithfulness with us and our faithfulness to the Lord. In that way, we continue the story of Easter in this world. I remember a story. No? Uh, one time, nag stations of the cross sa simbahan. No? Si Father yung nag -lead. Then in the middle of the praying of the stations of the cross, sumama yung timpla ng chan ni Father. Okay, so sabi niya, doon sa sakristan, tinawag niya, Brad, ikaw muna yung magpatuloy ng paglilid ng stations of the cross, ha? Talagang masama yung timpla ng chan ko. 
aalis muna ako. Pero babalik ako. But whatever happens, just continue praying the stations of the cross. Okay, and so the priest went and uh, went to the comfort room, no? At uh, inilabas yung sama ng loob. Okay. At pagkatapos niya, talagang masama yung timpla ng chan, no? Bumalik pa, no? Second round pa. So, in, a, in other words, so natagalan si Father, mga 20 minutes bago nakabalik. At nung pagbalik niya sa simbahan, to his surprise, narinig niya yung sakristan, sabi, 20th station. Ano, nagulat si Father. Nagulat si Father. No? Hanggang 14 lang yung stations of the cross, resurrection of Jesus. Naging 20th station, sabi ng sakristan, Veronica Mary Simon. Gumawa na siya ng kwento. No? Well, the point of the story, my dear friends, is that we should continue the story of the resurrection. What is my own contribution to this story? Is my life an Easter proclamation to the world, to the people around me. You know, when Jesus was being crucified, yung demonyo nagdiriwang. No, when the hands of Jesus were crucified, habang pinapako, sabi nung demonyo, now that your hands are crucified, you cannot anymore do good. You cannot anymore heal people. You cannot anymore help others kasi nakapako na ang iyong mga kamay. Tuwang-tuwa yung demonyo. And then the feet of Jesus, no, habang ipinapako, no, sabi ng demonyo, tuwang-tuwa ulit siya. Now that your feet are crucified, you cannot anymore bring the good news to the world. Nakapako na ang iyong mga paa. And then when the soldier Tinusok ng lance yung tagilira ni Jesus. Mas lalong natuwa yung demonyo. Sabi niya, Now, I make sure that your heart will stop beating so that you cannot anymore love. You cannot anymore forgive. You cannot anymore care for the people. But to the great frustration of the devil, on the third day, Jesus rose from the dead. Jesus is alive. So God's goodness and love continues. The same Jesus who healed, the same Jesus who forgave, the same Jesus who showed us the love of the Father is the same Jesus now that we have in the Eucharist who heals, who forgives, who expresses God's wonderful love to us. Because Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so, my dear friends, the challenge to us is that we, as followers of the Lord, as Christians, as Catholics, that we continue the good works of the Lord, that we continue to bring the message of salvation to every people, that we continue to make people feel and experience God's love for them through us. That despite, that despite our own hands are wounded, no, our own feet are wounded, our heart is wounded, no, kasi meron din tayong mga pinapasan na cruz sa ating buhay. But like the Lord Jesus, or like the Lord, the invitation of the Lord is that we become His hand, we become His feet, we become his heart. And so, my dear friends, on this wonderful celebration, our commemoration of the Lord's resurrection, we are reminded that we are Easter people. Alleluia is our song. We are believers of a God of hope. No, sana pag-uwi natin, no, taglayin natin itong panibagong pag-asa no, sa ating buhay. But whatever we are going through and we will be going through, remember, God will always make a way because we have a God who is powerful and faithful to us. And as we recognize that living hope within us, that we are Easter people, we strive also to become Easter proclamation to others that the goodness of our life be the living testimony that indeed 
Jesus is alive in this world. Amen. Please stand. Now we will renew our baptismal promises as our way of uniting ourselves to the resurrection of our Lord. Dear brethren, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with Him in newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty show? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered and death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has begun us new, has, be, has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. <laughs>